So we all know that Logan Paul is no stranger to lawsuits, and he has one currently filed against CoffeeZilla over his crypto zoo shenanigans and scam. And that whole thing is a whole topic on its own. It's just so funny that he said he was going to sue CoffeeZilla. Then he thanked CoffeeZilla and said, actually, he's the good guy. And now, just like a year later or something, he's suing CoffeeZilla yet again. This isn't even about that. He's been dishing out lawsuits. But now his own brand, Prime, is under suit from the Olympic Committee for uh, infringing on their copyright and their their logo, uh, slogans and logos and stuff. So now we have Logan Paul, who is uh, been dishing out lawsuits, now under fire from one. And this one, uh, probably more credible, right? The Olympic Committee has a pretty good track record when they go after someone. Usually they only go after people when they have a real reason to. So uh, this is what's going on with <clears throat> Logan Paul and Prime. Obviously, committee takes aim at the influence of Logan Paul over the Prime claim. What is that claim? Basically, it says it uh, down here, saying that Prime Hydration's conduct has been and continues to be willful, deliberate, and in bad faith with malicious intent to, uh, to trade on the goodwill of the USOPC, the Olympic Committee, and the IOC, while also adding that the company has impeded, damage, and irreparable injury to the U.S. Olympic Committee. Going on to say here that the lawsuit alleges that Prime's choice to use unlicensed trademarks could mislead the public and wrongfully profit through associating with the Olympics despite having no formal connection. So basically what uh, is going on, what everyone's or the Olympic Committee is here saying is that they use stuff like Team USA going for gold. I think they have it down here. Uh, written somewhere of like the slogans they use and things or that they're saying they used. Uh, and that is not allowed. You cannot just put that stuff on your products. Apparently the Olympic committee owns, you know, copyrights of those slogans and stuff. So I didn't know that, but apparently they do also for people who can use that slogan. I think there's only one company that can do that. And that's Coke because they give the Olympic committee a lot of money to be able to use that branding. So I'm pretty sure only Coke has those rights. So, you know, on the Coke can stuff, you can see Team USA, the going for gold slogan, all the Olympics related stuff is supposedly only for Coke because they give them a whole bunch of money. And uh, if you want to see what was the prime bottle that caused this whole thing that made everyone look at this and say, or made the US co committee look at this and say, we got to go after Logan Paul's prime. It was this one right here. Apparently, this uh, collab with Kevin Durant is uh, Olympic themed. I think you can see on the back Olympic gold medalist or three time Olympic gold medalist talking about the Olympia, the Olympic stuff and Kevin Durant being an Olympian. Uh, so they have apparently a lot of infringements from this bottle alone and the Olympic committee not happy. And Logan Paul and I guess KSI too, right? He is in this company as well now under fire for it and uh maybe rightfully so i don't know apparently you know the olympic committee has a spotless track record when they go after someone they usually win so they probably have a good uh a good backing and good evidence to actually go after prime but they go on here to say that the committee's legal team requested on july 10th that paul's brand cease infringement and then the lawsuit further explained that following the committee's request, the brand continued to sell its Olympic connected products and advertise them on social media. So there's another big no, no, right? Uh, uh, maybe th they would have not went through with the lawsuit if, you know, they reached out and said, Hey, uh, Logan Paul, you're actually using stuff you can't use. You mind not doing that. And if he cooperated and said, you know, my bad and stop doing that, maybe he could have avoided this whole lawsuit altogether. But uh, I guess they didn't do that. They just kept selling it. The committee reached out and said, hey, you know you can't sell that, right? And I guess Logan Paul just plugged his ears and just said, you know, I can't hear you. I'm just going to sell it. I can't hear you. Uh, and apparently it was profit. It was very profitable because it says committee is now achieving all profits associated with the sale of the infringed product, which is said to be in the millions. So apparently this was a really, really good and profitable thing to do this uh, infringing of the US Olympics or the Olympic slogan and stuff made a millions of dollars, but I guess they're gonna have to pay that back because this they're going after it. I don't know, it says that they're achieving all profits associated, maybe going after, I don't know how you can just take that overnight, right? You gotta go through this whole process, but like you've said, 
this whole thing with the Olympics, uh, their committee, everything about them is, uh, they got a good track record. So when they come after you, they've got a good reason to. And it seems like they've uh, really, really coming after Logan Paul. I think that it's kind of funny because obviously Logan Paul is throwing lawsuits around, thinks he's a big bad wolf and the big guy on, on the block trying to throw lawsuits around CoffeeZilla and bully people around and, you know, do all this types of stuff. Uh, but now somebody else who's got some a lot of money, right? They probably have more money and more resources than Logan Paul does. Now they're coming after him, not even, you know, that long after he's gone after CoffeeZilla. So I think the whole situation is pretty funny at the least to look at this and say, you know, karma comes back. He's doing these things to try and make himself have an easier time, silence other people. And then now he tried to do whatever he wanted. And now he's dealing with the repercussions of that. So the Olympics prime, not partners. Uh, I'm sure Logan Paul I thought that he could get away with it or thought that this wasn't something that was copyrighted or that they didn't have. I would assume that he Obviously, he's not the smartest person in the room, but I would assume he would put other smart people around to make sure that they can actually do this because Prime is not some small little business. It is a hundreds of million dollar, maybe a billion dollar like value company. So you have to do things the right way. You're not a small company where you can't fly under the radar. So I, why they just did this and didn't even think about it and slapped all the Olympic logos on it and slogans and stuff and thought that was okay I can't imagine that there's there aren't other people at Prime that have to go over this stuff. It can't be Logan Paul and KSI making these decisions to run through these IPs. It ha it has to be somebody else who messed up as well, or maybe they don't. Maybe they don't have anyone in the room. Maybe they just look at it and think, you know what, we'll just do whatever we want, run this stuff, and we'll deal with the consequences as they come. But for Logan Paul, uh, hopefully this might wake him up a little bit, right? Maybe this will show him man, we shouldn't just throw lawsuits out and try and ruin people because now the Olympic Committee is suing me and I'm sure he probably thinks he did nothing wrong, right? And that's not too much fun. So maybe if there's any sort of light in this situation, maybe Logan looks at this and says, you know what? I shouldn't sue CoffeeZilla. It's not worth it because one, I'm already wrong. And two, it just causes so much problems for everybody. I'll back away. It'd be kind of funny to see if he does like back away because I don't think he's going to go through the lawsuit with CoffeeZilla anyways because there's discovery. Probably doesn't want things to go out like that, so he'll probably withdraw it. Uh, that's what I think is probably going to happen. If he goes through discovery, that'd be great. I think that'd be really funny to see everything come out, but he might use this as cover fire to withdraw from his own lawsuit and say, oh, you know, we've, we're seeing these different things and trying to sneak, uh, sneak out from the lawsuit with CoffeeZilla. Well, this takes the headlines. But that's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next.